Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, I had a comment on YouTube on the last video how to work with the filament shield plugin. And I'm going to create a video to show you how we can work with that. And shield plugin is uh, to manage the roles and permissions. The shield plugin uses the Spati filament uh, Laravel permission, which is a very popular package. And yeah, you can work with a Spati Laravel permission without the shield, but shield, I think, uh, make it more easy. And of course, if you go to filament plugins, right now we have ordered by newest here, but if I change that to most popular, and you can see this package is the most popular on the filament. Shield, so the easiest and most intuitive way to add access management to your filament panels, resources, pages, and widgets through the Spati Laravel permission package. Okay, you have the documentation here, is compatible with the latest version 2 and 3, also has multi language support. Now I'm going to create a uh, Laravel project, install this package, install also the filament and show you how we can work with that. So I'm going to open the terminal and create a Laravel project. So let's say Laravel new. We can use the TNY LIA uh, starter kit for which is which comes with the filament, but maybe you don't like that. So I'm going to create a project with a live wire starter kit, for example and then install manually this, just to show you this is a fresh project. So Laravel new, I'm going to name it a filament-shield. And I'm going to hit enter, let's choose live wire. And would you like to use fault? No, choose past. Okay. And this is going to create the project. Then we need to install the filament, so we can go to documentation of filament, get started, and to install we need to require the filament slash filament, and then run the artisan filament colon install panels, but because you can just install tables or forms or info lists. Yeah, so let's come here, let's inst run the npm install and cd in the filament shield. Okay, now let's copy this and install filament first because we need to have filament to work with the shield. Okay, so I'm going to leave it default as a admin. And of course, now if I open this project, yeah, here we have. By default, if I navigate on the slash admin, we don't have any user yet, but if, uh, let me just open this project with a VS code. And with Laravel, if I go to, or let's just search here. Cider database Cider, we have this user factory create name and the email. So let me just run artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed here. And now let run refresh and log in with the test example. The admin panel, we don't have any resources yet because also by default we have only the user model and migration. So let's create one resource for that. Now to create a resources, you can go here on the documentation resources getting started. And we have here artisan make filament resource and the name of the model or what you like. So let me just clean here and run the artisan make colon filament resource and I'm going to name it user for the user model. And of course, if I come here and see now we have this user resource. And by default here we have an empty form and also an empty table. So let me just show you if I come here and refresh. Yeah, here is the 
users but the table has one record but we don't show here the name and the email if we want also if i see if i click here we don't have any form inputs so let's update this or let's use the or let's tell the ai some would say fill the form and the table and the augment is going to fill for us and also let me just go here and install the filament shield so go back with on the plugins here we have the shield go to installation so installation here and we have this command composer require so let's copy that open the terminal and paste that in and this one is going to install also the spati as you can see spati laravel permission because it's going to work with that okay now you, if you want you can run also this so configure the out provider so let's copy that and let's do the same as we have suggested there and then on the config we have filament shield so out provider model is user now on the user model we need to add this use has roles which comes from spati permission so let's open the user model and i see here i think if i say apply and i'm going to save this so we have on the table name email email verify that and also on the form name email email verify that and the password yes i think we are good close close and let's close this also just come here yeah we need to go on the user model and say has add the has roles so open here the user model also we need to add the has roles and make sure you import this so use spotty permission traits has roles next we need to say php artisan shield setup without tenancy but if you have tenancy you run this one so we are without tenancy come here paste that in hit enter and continue would like to show some love i have done that so let's clean this and install for panel so we placed admin with your panel id but i have for panel this so without tenancy or you can go on the admin panel provider and just add this but this command is going to add for us so let me just run this instead of open opening the filament panel provider and passing it manually okay and usage we have a basic usage you can go and customize if you want on the config we have the filament shield but i'm going to leave it like this and then for example if you have uh, custom permissions we have an example with post resource you can go and say implements has shared permissions and create this method which can return an array of permissions and here we have view view any create update delete delete any but you can add also for example this publish which is a custom permission now if i open my project and refresh we can see we have filament shield and we have roles here we don't have any role yet also if i go to users yeah now we have this user here which is email verified out and it's going to show the date we can go and create a new user but let's go back or let's create one more so i'm going to say uh, john john at to dot com add the date here so i'm going to choose today and then add the password which is going to be just password in my case let's say create and now create it we have two users me and this one now let's open the shield and let's scroll down 
because I want to, yeah. To scroll down, scroll down. We have has widget shield from widgets and yeah, policies. Now, if your policies are not in the default policies directory in the app path, you can change the directory name in the config file because this is going to work with policies. And if we have policies in another directory, not in the policies directory, which is by default with Laravel, then you need to go on the config and change the policy dire directory to what your policies leaves. Okay, yeah, without tenancy, with tenancy. And yeah, we have here users assigning roles to users. So shield, shield does not come with a way to assign roles to your users out of the box. But you can do your manually yourself. So here we have an example for using a select component or using checklist component. So let's copy this and now let's go on the user resource. So open the user resource here. We have a form, tax input name, make for name email, make password. And after this, I'm going to add also this one. Let me just uh, indent this because it's not in that perfectly yeah now we are okay and let's go back open the project come here and hard refresh now if i click on the user or in this one we can see we have also roles here we can select what role to assign okay also if i go back and create a new user now we have option to assign a role so we don't have any role you can go here and scroll down yeah we have available commands shield setup we have run that also shield install uh, generate to generate permissions uh, create super admin so let's do that shield super admin and yeah i'm going to say uh, one is going to be the super admin also create cedar if you want or publish a role resource which i am going to say so shield publish artisan shield publish and the panel is admin and also we can run this uh, shield generate which is going to generate permission and policies or you here we have the generate commands options all to generate for all entities option a page for specific page and so on but i'm going to say just art dash dash all and you can see we have now a role policy and user policy and we have for your old policy view view any create update delete delete any for user we have view view any create update restore restore any replicate uh, reorder delete delete any force delete and force delete any let's go back we have roles here we have a super admin and this super admin has all the roles we have right now all the permissions so we have role view delete view any delete any create and update and also for the user view any and so on right now if i go here we can because i'm logged in as a test user we can uh, assign a role here the super admin or we can let's go to roles and create a new role with the say uh writer for example and we can assign roles uh permissions to this so for example i'm going to assign only this role writer can as can have the view permission to view the user also let's view the role and if you any can view any also for users but nothing else let's create let's go to users let's go to this zone and this can have i'm going to assign the role writer 
okay now let's copy the email here i'm going to log out and i'm going to log in with this one the password is password sign in we have users here this we can view can view the users as you can see here now we don't have a button to edit or to delete also if i click nothing change we can go to roles see this super admin yeah but nothing else see this writer and for example i'm going to select all here nothing changed so we can just view but we cannot uh, edit or delete roles and users and i think this is only for uh, this video how to set up the project install this shield create uh, roles create permissions assign a role to the user uh, i'm going to create another video which uh, there i'm going to create some models and migrations and assign a role also create roles and assign roles to the user for the specific uh, for example for posts what the user can do can uh, create edit also can uh, publish the posts and so on now don't forget if you like such a videos uh, subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best